There's a big battle for your dollar, and it's being waged inside your streaming devices and smart TVs. Disney Plus arrived in 2019, and it's challenging Netflix for the title of King of All Streaming Media. Disney's got a good leg up when it comes to the price of entry, but Netflix built a strong fortress of originals and licensed movies. So which one is better? We'll help you decide exactly that in today's video. But before we continue, if you don't want to miss a video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to get notified every time we post new videos. Let's get started. The pandemic forced most of us inside, sometimes for weeks on end. Zoom hangs got tired pretty quickly. Puzzles were finished in rapid succession, and there were only so many home workouts to be done in a day. Everyone was streaming all the time to the point that data caps were instituted in countries around the world by regulatory boards that were worried the internet would crash under the strain. Today, Netflix and Disney Plus are at the top and are giving tough competition to one another. So let's start comparing. Price. Disney Plus costs $6.99 a month. Disney also offers an annual subscription that's priced at $69.99 a year. And there is also a bundle deal that allows buyers to get Disney Plus, Hulu with ads, and ESPN Plus for $12.99 a month. That cuts the price of an individual Disney Plus subscription by $4.33 a month. Finally, Verizon Wireless Unlimited customers can get one year of Disney Plus for free. Comparatively, Netflix is more expensive. Its lowest price tier for most territories is $8.99 a month, which supports one concurrent stream at 480p video resolution. The second tier costs $13.99 a month with two concurrent streams and 1080p resolution. The third tier costs $17.99 a month with four streams at the same time and 4K resolution support. Netflix recently did away with its long-running 30-day free trial offer for new subscribers in the US. To be fair, Netflix is experimenting with mobile-only subscriptions in certain markets. The price for that tier, which is only for smartphones and tablets, is less than $5 a month, where it is available. However, Netflix has not made it available in most of its countries. Even though it doesn't have a free trial anymore, Disney Plus wins the price war, at least for now. Content. Here's where we move from fact to figures to personal preferences. And in fact, there's an argument to be made that these services aren't really competing very much at all, in that they aren't really courting the same audiences. Both streaming services have a huge library of content at their disposal, but Disney Plus's catalog, as you'd expect, very family friendly. It's packed with big hitting golden oldies and the entire Marvel and Star Wars portfolios. But there isn't much in the way of original, created for Disney Plus content. In fact, at the time of publication, there were only 35 Disney Plus originals. However, this has grown from a measly 13 in March. Netflix, on the other hand, offers a far broader mix of different genres, and its content library constantly is in flux. There's way, way more original content on Netflix than there is on its rival. But considering how fresh the Disney Plus platform is, that's to be expected. Features and Availability both Disney Plus and Netflix are available on several platforms such as Android, iOS, Fire Sticks, Chromecast devices, and even personal computing or laptops. You can enjoy these two online streaming services via distinct browsers. Except for the four countries, China, North Korea, Crimea, and Syria, Netflix is available in 190 countries. On the other hand, only a few countries such as the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Netherlands, and others. Disney Plus has more family-friendly shows and less of its original content. However, its most significant advantage is some of the best and highly rated shows of Marvel, Pixar, and Star Wars, which often attracts people's attention. Moreover, it has seven user profiles, which is a bit higher than that of Netflix, which has only five user profiles. Contrary to Disney Plus, Netflix might not have access to the most popular TV shows, but it has its original content, which often fascinates people. Platform. Disney Plus apps are available for Android and iOS mobile devices. It also supports Chromecast devices, as well as TVs with built-in Chromecast capabilities. It's also available for Android TV televisions and set-top boxes like the Invita Shield. Disney Plus can be streamed on a PC or on web browsers, but specifics have not been revealed. Disney Plus apps are available for Microsoft Xbox One and Sony PlayStation 4 consoles too. It's also on Roku TVs, streaming sticks, 
and set-top boxes, Amazon Fire TV sticks, and televisions. Android TV devices, Vizio Smart TVs, and Samsung and LG Smart TVs have their own Disney Plus apps. There's been no confirmation of a Disney Plus app for the Nintendo Switch, even though a slide from Disney's Investor Day event showed the app running on the Switch. As far as Netflix is concerned, in terms of availability, the question is, what devices don't support it? It's available on iOS and Android smartphones and tablets, and it supports Roku and Amazon Fire TV-based devices, Chromecast devices, and TVs with built-in Chromecast. It also supports Android TV-based televisions with set-top boxes. Of course, Netflix is available via a variety of web browsers for PC laptops and desktops. Netflix is also available on a ton of game consoles. That includes Microsoft's Xbox One, Sony PlayStation 4, and even Nintendo Wii U and 3DS. Apps are available for a variety of smart TVs, cable boxes, and even Blu-ray players. It looks like Netflix wins the platform category, at least during the launch, although Disney Plus could catch up later. Interface Coming to the interface of both, each one of them has a unique interface. Disney Plus has its content displayed in horizontal rows in a jumbled up pattern. It even shows you the contents or the shows that can interest you. Moreover, since it has access to Marvel, Pixar, and National Geographic and Star Wars, separate buttons are created for each. On the other hand, Netflix has its content organized according to the different genres such as thriller, comedy, or romantic. You can view any of the shows according to your choice. Subscribers Netflix's streaming service has now been going for more than 10 years, so it has a far bigger subscriber base than Disney+. Plus. On April 9th, Disney Plus hit the 50 million mark, a significant milestone that came less than five months after the service initially went live in the US, Canada, and the Netherlands on November 12th. Disney has said that it's aiming to have between 60 million and 90 million subscribers by the end of 2024. Netflix had 182.856 million paid subscribers by the end of March 2020, having added 15.77 million paid customers during the first quarter of this year. So which should you opt for? There are no easy answers to this question. Prime Video has a vast regional language content and its subscription comes bundled with other Prime benefits. Netflix, on the other hand, has one of the biggest libraries of TV shows and movies in its kitty, while Hotstar, which is now Disney Plus Hotstar, has content from Disney and its companies, which include HBO and Fox, in addition to a vast collection of Bollywood movies and TV shows from Indian channels. Ultimately, it boils down to a simple question. What do you want to watch? If you're looking for more content in Indic languages, Prime Video might be a better fit for you. And if you are all about movies and documentaries, Netflix might suit you better. And if you're a fan of superhero movies and shows and movies that are streamed on Disney's family of channels, Disney Plus Hotstar might prove to be a better fit for you. And that's all for today's video. We hoped you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.